Hi guys, it seems that there was some confusion about the how compiler works and how compilers leave their own um, footprint and I wanted to show you some example uh, so the public will understand more about how this compiler thing works. So let's just create another uh, file here and say hi, okay, and let's just uh, I'm gonna create a compile here. We come to the Satoshi Hunter on desktop and right here and let's create a folder called Nima and let's say one dot exe. Okay. I just save this. I'm gonna close this project and it's asking me to save. I will ask Save, come here, Satoshi Hunter, desktop, Nima, save the project, okay? So I just saved this file here, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a copy of this, see? It still is the same project. Take a copy, open, I'm gonna delete this file because we no longer need this. I'm gonna create the project, project is here. It's the same file still, we're not gonna touch anything. We're just gonna uh, make, we're gonna make two that is. Okay, same file. Just take a copy, close down this project. Yes, okay, so two that is it. And now let's just open and now let's just some add some stuff here. Hi, and then a bunch of a okay now save make another project i want to make this part two okay save now we we'll want to show you how the uh, compiler leaves its own signature here so we'll come here using zero zero one editor okay and then we come here to compare files Come here to our project and Nima one, okay. With come here and project and Nima copy two. So, so we will see that uh, these um, this project are the same. So let me p e. I want to show you something. Come here to the desktop again. Nima. So you see, this one has 68, 88, 12, 40. Correct? Now we go to the second. It's basically a similar file, right? See, these two have a same first byte data header. Now, this is the second one that we have added uh, some stuff, just some text. See, that's different. Even though it has the same linker and everything, but the first bytes is different. Now it's this really important that a lot of people say, hey, how could be this accurate? How this files of uh, first Bitcoin release with the Hashcash project. How do you know this files has been compiled with the same machine? And, and you just just saw how the compiler leave its own signature. So this was the first one, but this is the second one. And we will see uh, right here. We have to go to 6888. So yeah, as you can see, uh, right here, 68, 88, 12, 40. That's where the first byte of this um, image da data structure is starting. So you see this, these two files, just I just copy paste, but um, they uh, compile in the same machine and they have the similar, uh, uh, the footprint right there. You see the compile left its own footprint. 
um, and do you see this is matched see how this information is matched because basically it's copies in the same machine and um, but uh, even though like very small change very small change inside the project uh, it would actually cause the compiler uh, put the different code um, right there and I'm just trying to compare again and for you to understand uh, again I open this we're going to the project uh, desktop uh, Nima. So this was the first one, 68, 88, 12, 40. And the very small changes on the second project. You see, it gave you different header by codes. Um, then this is how I can tell 100% that uh, these two files from Hashcash and um, uh, files from Hashcash and uh, files from a, a first release of uh, Bitcoin is actually developed uh, with the same machine with the same configuration and you see here it's different than uh, 68d41240 versus 6888 of pretty close to each other. Um, but um, the small, even a small changes is in the project. It will leave the uh, footprint and uh, it generates a different footprint. Hope this is uh, kind of eye opening for you and I'll show you more. Okay, now uh, let's just check the uh, Adam back uh, hash cache 1.22 file uh, with uh, first release of uh, Bitcoin from Satoshi Nakamoto. Uh, so you come here, DL test. This is hash cache DLL. Open this file and then we'll go to this is the you see, this is the first release of uh, Bitcoin library, and this is the hash cache. Even though they've just been developed in 3D years different, but when you compare them, uh, they actually have a similar, uh, it, it might take some time, uh, and but uh, let's see, uh, PEID, I don't know show you guys here that come to the desktop dll tests this hash cache 5589 e583 and this one 5989 e556 uh those file has a similar very similar offset and overlayer and uh right now computer is uh uh, trying to find a, a similar it's, it's process in the back right now it's comparing this two file in terms of executable uh, then in that and you'll see basically that uh, how these two files has been compiled with the same um, uh, code right here and what we're looking for we have to looking for 5589 e5 so we'll go into the Fifty uh, search for fifty five eighty nine e five. Let's see, find out that this two match. Then we'll go stick this out of the way. Um, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. He will see even the the app is highlighted for them you see this um files uh, it's right there 55 80 90 80 90 80 86 uh these are the one that basically uh these are the footprints these are the signature footprint of um gcc uh, 256 or win mg um 
uh, <clears throat> app that you will see. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, just let me know.